everyone this is Matt from cgmax7.com and I'm here to making a quick tip on how to bring alphas into ZBrush and by that mean is to bring your uh, alphas pretty quickly without uh, importing them by particular your folders and something like that so let's start it uh, first of all they are basically two alphas they are quick startup alphas which are over here and the lightbox alpha which is over here and if you can't see it let me bring it up and I guess you can see it like this so these are the alphas which are loaded into lightbox and these are the quick startup so if you want to bring alphas which you pretty frequently use uh, so and you want to bring them into your startup so you can go at uh, your C uh, window, uh, sorry, C uh, folder, and uh, there are basically uh, two folders in uh, in mine. If you have 32-bit, you might just see program files, and if you have 64-bit, then probably you're going to see two folders. And this means my program files is loaded with 64-bit. Those software which are uh, basically 64 bit those are comes in program files and which are 32 bit they they come in uh, 80, program files 86 and I don't know why it's called but that's fine anyhow so uh, let's go to program files 86 cause ZBrush is 32 bit basically so let's go to the pixel logic folder and we go into this one and basically you will see the Z alphas these folders in here and these are loaded into your light box and uh, I just um, you know installed some couple of extra alphas so you might see just couple of these uh, you know alphas uh, which already come with the ZBrush but I just added some extra alphas and uh, in your startup menu you want to go to Z data and in here these are the alphas now these alphas comes with brush 23 brush 24 brush 25 it's named like that but when you come into alphas in here into ZBrush these uh, alphas call like this in alpha 01 alpha 02 alpha 03 and I don't know why they call that but it's kind of weird but that's fine also you want to make sure that you don't get crazy in here because uh, these alphas gets loaded when you start up your ZBrush and if you really get crazy in here you you know you might your uh, ZBrush might get crash or you know it it can be worse so you just want to make sure that you just don't go crazy in here you just want to put your best or frequently used alphas in here so to bring this alphas I'm going to make an example over here so I bring an uh, just uh, three alphas and copy them and bring into Z data and alphas and paste it over here so it's over here three alphas now if you already open your ZBrush you don't want you won't see it uh, these alphas unless you close your ZBrush and open it again so I will open it again my ZBrush Turn on the, my light box and bring my alphas and yep there they are these are the extra alphas which I pasted over here and here they are so you want to make sure that you don't get crazy on these alpha now basically what I do uh, I bring all my alphas in my light box which is pretty useful so whenever I'm sculpting and I need an alpha I just go to the light box and load it all these alphas so these are my personal alphas I just put it on to my uh, light box and it's pretty easy to find I think light box is really really great feature in ZBrush oops that's okay and I'm going to hide it so yeah but also I wanted to add something over here 
to just some extra, you know. So let's start uh, go to the textures and also you will see the materials. Now there are basically two materials over here, matte caps and startup. And I'm in the Z data folder. So these are also the startup uh, materials. You can paste over here and you can paste your startup uh, materials over here. So if you find uh, the you know any Z materials you can put it down into your Z data so you can bring those materials pretty quickly but if you don't use them pretty frequently I recommend you to put it on to the light box which is outside of these folder you want to go outside of the Z data and come to the add Z material and paste it over here so in here you will see again some extra materials which I pasted over here but probably you're going to see only these two materials by default so I hope this was pretty useful for you guys and happy ZBrush